Hello, today I'd like to show you the Windows 8 specific features of Ghost Radar Connect. Here's a typical Windows 8 tablet. You can see it's got the Windows 8 interface. And we have all three of our Ghost Radar apps installed. So we'll go ahead and start up Ghost Radar Connect. Now it looks fairly similar to the iOS and Android version. There are some differences. The consoles you get to here by scrolling. <clears throat> so you can see the, the radar, the box, the camera, and the, the readouts. Um, <clears throat> you can get to the flashlight here or go into night mode. You can see the, the warm up indicator and the, the sensitivity knob there. You can change the sensitivity by turning it with two fingers. Um, you can record audio here. Um, it uses the standard Windows 8 way of accessing menus. So if we pull down from the top, we can see that a menu pops up. On the bottom menu, there's a stop and start the radar button. And up here, we have the logs button. So we can go into the logs and see our logs. We can go, they're color coded. So the more events that have occurred during those sessions, the different colors they will be. So this one with two events is red. This one with a higher number is yellow. and the zero, the sessions that didn't have any events are colored gray. Um, let's go look at this one because it's got several events we can look at. We can modify the title and the description of the session and look at all the events in, that were collected in that session. We can see what the settings were for that session when the session started. Uh, let's go in and look at one of the blips that was detected. So this is a this is a, an event detail screen. You can get to some the standard charms and here you can share your your de the details of your event by whatever is available there to share if I had Facebook installed you could share it through Facebook let's go back to the the session here in the session we can delete the session if we wanted to by pulling down those standard menus let's go back to the session screen and the main screen. The other menu up here is the vocabulary management screen and here we can see all the words that are in the vocabulary. If we wanted to get further down into the alphabet without constantly scrolling like this we could zoom it and that will give us access to that specific letter. So let's go look at say G and find the word ghost. When you look at a um, specific word or add a specific word, it, it'll give you a definition of that word. The word ghost here. We can also test it. Ghost. So there's an option to delete or cancel, or, or if you changed it, you could save it here. So we didn't make any changes, so we'll cancel. You can pull up a menu here to add a word or delete all the words if you wanted to and start from scratch. So. That's the vocabulary management. The standard charm for its settings allows you to change the sensitivity if you wanted to do that way. Or there's some options you can change, like whether you wanted to speak during warm-up, things like that. The help system is also in these charms. One of the nice, fe nice features about Windows 8 is it allows you to run two apps at once. So let's go back to the main window screen and start up Ghost Radar Classic. Now if we pull from this side, we can see that our Ghost Radar Connect is still running and we want to... Well, we didn't drop it correctly, so... Let's drop Ghost Radar Classic there and now they're both running side by side, which can give you some interesting readings when you run it like that. So give that a shot, it's pretty fun. That is about it for the Windows 8 differences, so thanks for watching.